कोमली मैम दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री एन सी आर टी सीरीज ऑफ टॉप ट्वेंटी मॉडल्स फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सी योर नॉट ओनली क्वेश्चन वेन आई एम टीचिंग द क्वेश्चन आई एल कवर यू हियर एंड देर अदर कॉन्सेप्ट एंड आई विल गिव यू द टेक्निक टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इफ एनी टेक्निक इज देर इन दैट क्वेश्चन ओके पे अटेंशन द इक्वलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ द गिवेन रिएक्शन एट दे आर आस्किंग अस इक्वलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट एंड दे हैव गिवेन आस ई नॉट वैल्यूज ओके देन हाउ टू डू ई नॉट इज इक्वल टू E not is a E not cell is equal to formula is zero point zero five nine one by n log K C is the formula. What is the formula? Repeat. E not cell is equal to zero point zero five nine one by n log K C. Just substitute E not cell zero point two three seven, which is equal to. 0.0591 by number of electrons transferring during the reaction how to find it out plus 3 state changing into plus 2 so change in oxidation number is 1 like that there are two fe's so change in two fe3 plus so change in oxidation state is 2 for entire either any ion you can consider okay so here number of electrons transfer is 2 log Individually also I can write it and show you. Simply I have uh, uh, found that log K C. What is the K C? We should calculate it. Then keep log K C value this side. Move entire term that side. Zero point two three seven into two divided by zero point zero five nine one. This upon solving we will be getting around eight point zero two. So log K C is equal to eight point zero two. If log move this side, you know K C is equal to log move this side. This become anti log. Or ten power of this answer. So what is the K C? Ten power eight point zero two. Clear? See the next one. See this formula. This is the formula. This is the formula. Okay. Which among the following options have highest conductivity? How to find the conductivity? See this box. All these metals, metals are more conductive in nature. Okay, and these are non-metal. Uh, these are the insulators. These are conductors. These are insulators. What are insulators, students? Glasses, Teflon insulator. You can see their conductivity. Ten power of minus sixteen, minus eighteen is their very least conductivity, which means they are insulators. See here, these are in aqueous forms. They they are showing the conductivity. But any substance, if the if the concentration is decreasing, the conductivity decreases. See here, these pure water. 3.5 to 10 power of minus 5. Strong acids, strong bases, salts usually more is the conductivity due to the ions. In them, concentration is more more conductivity. Water very less conductivity. 10 power of minus 5. HCl more conductivity 3.91. KCl and NaCl. In this two, KCl is more conductive. 0.14. Okay, weak acids are least conductive. Semiconductors are CuO, Si, and germanium. In the semiconductors, germanium is more conductive. Okay. So what is the correct answer here? Point one molar HCl shows the more conductivity due to more concentration. Done. See the next question. Among the following, the incorrect statement is in this question. If you read all the four options, they are talking about the uh, you know conductivity with respect to concentration. Here one point I want to tell you: whether it is a strong electrolyte or a weak electrolyte. More is the concentration. More is the conductivity. See here the conductivity of a solution. Increases with more concentrations. The conductivity and molar conductivity 
changes with concentration. If you decrease the concentration, conductivity decreases. Conductivity always decreases with a decrease in the concentration. Whether it is a strong electrolyte or weak electrolyte. So more is the concentration, tell me more is the conductivity. What is that? More is the concentration, more is the conductivity. Now see the first option. Strong electrolytes, lambda m increases slowly with the dilution. Is it correct? If you increase the... Uh, dilution conductivity more is the water more is the dilution more is the dilution when you increase the dilution number of ions increases automatically see number of ions increases then uh, conductivity also increases so upon a dilution number of ions that carry the current in a solution so more is the more is the uh, dilution then more is the conductivity okay so option one is the correct and for strong electrolyte conductivity decreases with a decrease in concentration for strong electrolytes yes correct no if you decrease the concentration conductivity decreases if you put more water uh, number uh, what happens if you put more water mm, uh, that the ions splits more more is the dilution more is the conductivity okay for weaker electrolytes, what happens? Conductivity, molar conductivity increases steeply with a dilution, especially near lower concentration. Yes, e even though low concentration, when you increase the uh, dilution, then conductivity increases. This is what Oswald law explains, right? More is the water we are adding, ions produces more, then more is the conductivity. For weaker electrolytes, conductivity increases with a decrease in concentration which is wrong because conductivity increases with increase in concentration. So, option 4 is the incorrect statement. Next, in the equation, in this equation, they were asking us the value of A will be same for. A will be same for. How to find this A? A value, this that equation, this equation is called as a Huckel's equation. This equation is for the strong electrolytes. Okay. In this equation, A is a specific, it is a constant for a particular, you know, uh, type of uh, substances. For example, you see cation and anion. Cation charges Na plus, anion charges Cl minus. Cations and anions produce their charges ratio if you take 1 is to 1 ratio. CaCl2 charge is 2 and Cl minus charge it is 1. Mg 2 plus is the charge so 2. Sulfate 2 minus is the charge so 2. These are 1 is to 1, 2, 1, 2, 2. So, which are having same type, they are having same A value. You see the first option, NaCl, Na plus Cl minus also 1. No need to take mag, uh, that plus minus, just that uh, how much it is their charge, okay. KCl, K plus Cl minus, NaCl, this is a correct answer. Same both 1 is to 1, 1 is to 1. You take NaCl, 1 is to 1, CaCl2, try Calcium 2 plus 2, chlorine is 1. CaCl2, it is 2, calcium and this is 1. Magnesium sulphate, magnesium 2, sulphate 2. KCl, K is 1, Cl is 1. Magnesium sulphate, magnesium 2 plus sulphate 2. Okay, this is the same. So, option 1 is the correct answer. Okay, now let us see the next question. If the lambda M0 of 0.025 molar formic acid is given, what is given in the question students? Lambda M0. And they are asking us to find Ka. What other information is given? Limiting molar conductivity for H plus, HCO minus is given. How to find this? We want for formic acid. So, HCOOH, which means HCOOH we want, means the sum of this value plus this value. What is that? 349.6 plus 
546. This is limiting molar conductivity at infinite dilution lambda m naught. You can write like this or you can write lambda m naught. You can write like this or you can write full lambda also or half a lambda also. All are correct representations. Okay. Then they are asking Ka. I will tell you how to find Ka. See Ka is equal to C alpha square by 1 minus alpha. So C is already given in the question. How much C value? 0 0.025 substitute. Alpha we have to find. How to find alpha C here? How to find alpha? Limiting molar conductivity. Molar conductivity at a particular concentration by molar conductivity at infinite dilution. Molar conductivity at a particular concentration, how much is given in the question? 46.1. Molar conductivity at infinite dilution is 404.2. This upon solving we get alpha. Alpha and C and substitute in this and comment me your answer in the uh, chart section. If you are not able to do this calculation, just to do with the calculator or just to try in another video, I will make all the calculation parts how to do it in another video. Okay, try this answer and put it in the chat box. My name is Komali, I am your chemistry mentor. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know how was the session. Have a nice day, bye, I love you.